Bellu, you've got an upcoming auction sale that's including some treasure items, always of interest to people. Right. Share with us what's going on in this auction. Well, this is going to be our biggest auction ever, and we know that because we have the consignments already. And uh, we have here on display three gold bars, uh, an 11 foot gold chain, and some kind of vase thing that's made out of very ornate gold, all of it from shipwrecks. And that's where this stuff comes from. But we also have quite a few very interesting coins, some very rare and expensive Latin American gold and silver coins. Uh, we have a uh, MS-63 pillar dollar from Colombia. Don't see those every day. Uh, we have several royals, including a Star of Lima 1659, of which we've only ever seen a couple, and uh, a couple other royals. Um, several collections of just very interesting uh, shipwreck collections of, of coins, eight reales mostly, but uh, just a lot of everything, and uh, we're very excited that this is going to be our biggest auction. How is it that these items come onto the market? How is it that they're able to be found and sold? Well, the thing is, they never disappear. So as soon as they are found from shipwrecks, maybe they'll go through some promotion, Maybe they'll go to uh, an investor, or maybe the divers will just keep them themselves. But eventually, they enter the market just like anything else. And because we are the only ones specializing in this area, and because we do auctions, it all comes to us. And um, we never know exactly when, what will come to us when, but for this particular auction, it seems like a lot of good stuff has come to us. If somebody wants to start buying treasure, how do you counsel them to get started? Well, uh, my first thing to say to them is find what you like because whenever you are collecting if you're just filling holes you're going to get tired at some point if you are instead collecting things that you'd love to look at and you're very proud to own you're going to keep them for a long time and you are going to make money there's no no two ways about it with treasure it's slightly different because there are no holes to fill you know every little thing is different you you if you were to say I wanted to collect everything from treasure you would collect everything there's nothing that would be excluded uh, that said do people do collect by shipwreck you know they just want to have one piece from every shipwreck that's out there uh, and that works for a lot of our clients that's what really keeps us going